The next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> Oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your royal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. Damn, Scarlet. Oh shit, we just Zack! Let's go, baby! Yeah? Let me in. Let's go! We got Zack! Okay. So apparently, I didn't know this. So, okay, in the original. Oh my god, this is so good. In the original, the weapons appeared as soon as uh, Sephiroth uh, woke up from, you know, when Cloud did the thing with the thing. I'm not trying to spoil anything. <laughs> so that's, that's when they appeared. Apparently now, they just appeared on their own because they sense that the world is in danger, regardless. And apparently, each of them is also housing... Uh... 
a giant materia or huge materia. So that's interesting. And apparently, yeah, apparently Wu Tai is uh, trying to steal that materia, which makes sense because, you know, Yuffie's trying to steal our materia. All right, let's keep it pushing. We get to play with Zach! Hello? I pressed triangle. Um, Elmira? Zach, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. Okay, Adlan, you missed it. Zack literally appears in the first five minutes of the game. No, it's not a dream. It's not a dream, brother. I made a video about it. You could check. It's it's like a it's like a nine minute video where Zack appears literally the first five minutes of the game. Check it out. You'll 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 see my reaction and everything. It's insane. Is she still alive? I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith, but if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith's, uh... Yes, I know. Oh my god. You okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? God damn it. what everyone's saying. Holy shit. Which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. Oh, 
Oh man, dude. Oh brother. Uh, is the original game a dream? No. Um. So I mean, you played remake. I'm assuming, right? At the end of remake, um. Essentially, the whispers were trying to uh, keep keep the party going in the original timeline. And at the end of remake, we uh, we 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 defy fate. So now we're on our own timeline. And now, because we did that, we created two separate timelines. Because remember. Us as players, we if you know if we would have had it our way, Zach would have survived, and lo and behold, in the alternate timeline, Zach survives. So, I have a theory. I have a theory that because Aerith is alive and well in on the current timeline, she's still like knocked out or in coma in Zack's timeline. But my theory is that as soon as like if if she does die, like if the the whole thing happens with Sephiroth and she does die, then she'll become awake and conscious in Zack's timeline. Oh man, it's going to be so I'm I'm calling it now. Bro, we could have used your help. You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. Not necessarily. Her mom's um her mom's alive was alive in both timelines or whatever. Like she she doesn't have an like crazy importance to the story aside from taking care of um, Marlene. And uh you got it, brother. See ya. I'll be here for like probably another hour or so. I don't want to get to the gold saucer part yet. I just want to reach Corel, probably do the Corel stuff. I know for a fact gold saucer's probably going to like keep me trapped there. Holy the Corel reactor. All right. Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. Hmm. Well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS troops on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. The old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward! They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but, why the interim? Because... Once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool. 
cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! Okay. I like that. If he gets a bit more, uh, more time in the spotlight. I do want to start using Yuffie, but I also need to brush up on my uh, Yuffie skills. Reunion! Grab all these items. Nice, another high potion. We've been using a lot of... I, so normally in my uh, RPG playthroughs, I'm good enough to like not need really to use items. This game, I've just been using items left and right, which is, I guess, a good thing too. So like, all that stuff down there is Mako? Yep. Then it's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary. Um... She's such a freak. A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is, and talking won't stop him. All right, follow Barrett. For the calls. All right, let's keep him moving. I'm assuming there's nothing over there, so we're just gonna keep pushing. Man, I can't wait to get to Corel. What up, homies? Oh my god, that's, that shot is sick. With all the party members.
Some more shinner boxes. Stick it to the man. Enemies? Oh my god. Bro, two seconds. Nice. Hmm. What's over here? Of course. I'm telling you, y'all gotta listen to the RPG rules. Always go left first. Till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control rooms up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. Huh? What? We're working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey, 